Hi, this is Jannekar from the Animate Development team. In this tutorial I'll be showing a quick start with uh, Animate and Animator. Uh, now here I have a, an example file loaded up in Animator. And it's one of the examples that can be downloaded from the uh, Animator website. And it's pretty heavily animated uh, automatically, so first of all I want to delete all these bones that are automatically animated as I really want to animate it myself through animate. Oh, I might want to also show the final character. So here it is. So let's first of all delete all these uh, animated bones. Okay. And I'll also want to move the whole character, so I'll unlock this this joint that's uh, currently being fixed. So uh, one of the first things uh, that you might want to do when you're starting out with uh, animate is to actually uh, create a completely new skeleton that al allows you to see what kind of data is coming from animate. So let's uh, create a new layer and for example name it animate and let's fade out the actual character layer a bit and now we're only going to uh, use the upper body for this one so let's create a just a hand elbow a shoulder and another shoulder elbow and a hand and let's connect those with bones now one important thing is to actually set the stiffness values of these bones to zero so that we can actually see directly everything that's coming from animate without animator trying to struggle to keep the bone length the or the original length of the bones so let's set all of these to zero okay now we can start animate and start uh, making the OSC connections. So first of all I'll load the new profile or the default settings and I'll only be using the uh, skeleton data so I'll disable the exact and quantized data altogether. Now whenever you're using animator you should set the OSC port to be 7110 as that's the only uh, port that the animator will receive OSC from. You'll also want to set the skeleton format to be animator joint, so that, uh, animator can actually understand what uh, animate is sending to it. Now these uh, animator joints don't have any names by default, so we'll just use these ones that are the defaults in animate. It doesn't matter what these names are, but they must correspond for, to the names in animate. And you don't you don't have to have the forward slash, but as that's the default name in animate, I'll just go with that. So let's first set this to left hand, left shoulder, no sorry elbow. left shoulder, right shoulder, right elbow, and this capital E, and finally left hand. Now we'll want to also set some scaling values in animate and uh, uh, one good indication of what those should be is something around uh, the X values or the Y values of the coordinates in Animator. Here we can see that it's around uh, 700 and uh, on this side it's much lower so we'll use this one. So I think around 700 or 600 might be good 
And one thing to remember is that the coordinate axes are uh, inverted uh, from uh, uh, what uh, Animate uses to those uh, that Animator uses. So we'll want to set uh, negative values in the scaling boxes here. So something around negative 600 and negative 600 for the y-axis also. Now you'll want to make these the same values unless you want to change the aspect ratio of the data that's sent from Animate. Oh, and one uh, last thing before we start moving stuff. Uh, there's this OSC box here, but uh, what that actually does is uh, it makes uh, Animator send out OSC, and that's not what we want. But Animator will uh, receive OSC data as long as it's uh, in the correct port, it will receive it automatically. So let's try this out. Oh, we forgot to apply the changes. So let's apply the changes. Okay, now we see that uh, the skeleton is moving quite uh, high up in the um, left corner. So we'll need to add some offsets also. I think something around 500 might be good enough. Let's try that. Oh, it seems we wrote the name wrong on one of the values, or one of the joints. Oh, so it seems these are both left elbow or left hand, and this should be right hand, of course. Sorry about that. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, there we go. And it would seem that the scaling values are pretty perfect for the character that is uh, on the other layer also. So as a final step we might uh, want to activate the mirroring so that it just looks nicer compared to the ghost that you can see from Animate. Okay, now we can uh, uh, actually do the same thing or map the OC paths to the actual character and we don't really need this layer anymore. We'll just see, okay, the right hand is on this side, so we'll map these to the right side of the body and these to the left side of the body. So let's hide this layer and set this layer back to visible again. And then let's start mapping these. So this was the right hand. Right elbow. Right shoulder. Left shoulder. Left elbow. And finally left hand. Now we can also see the final, final animation. So there you have it. I hope you'll have fun playing with Animator and Animator, and thanks for watching.